Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you want in fried chicken. All them big flakes on there. Nothing but flavor. You can almost see the crunch in that crust. First thing we need to do is start off with a spice mix. We're we'll gonna make a little Cajun seasoning. Have a tablespoon of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of salt. One tablespoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning has been blitzed in my little coffee grinder. Two tablespoons of paprika. Two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. One tablespoon of onion powder. And one teaspoon of accent, a little MSG. Give it that little kick. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit, throw it in our container. Get this mixed up real good. Got some chicken breast here. We're gonna start off, trim off some of this fat we don't need. Any ugly pieces. And we're gonna make it about bun size. And as you can see, that's a little thick. I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna make some little chicken nuggets with this. And since this is so thick, I'm gonna slice off some of this, just so it's not crazy thick. That'll be another chicken nugget. Thin this down just a little bit. More nuggets. Next. Time to season that up. Want to coat this real good. Season all sides. Let it marinate in the fridge about three hours. It'd be like a little dry brine going on right here. But we want some spicy chicken. It is supposed to be a spicy chicken sandwich, right? Some real chicken nuggets. None of that processed stuff with the leftovers. You can treat this like Scooby Snacks for the chef. All right. Put this in the fridge and we'll be back. Now it's time to make the dry batter, the first dredge. We're gonna start off with one cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of our seasoning mix. We wanna mix this all up. It's gonna be the light dredge. Then, chicken's out, marinated. Ooh, you can smell this in here. This is gonna be good. All right, we wanna get a light coat on this. Not real heavy, shake off the excess. Then we're just gonna set it aside. Let it sit for a while. Let all that flour suck into that meat. That cornstarch is gonna make it real crispy. All right, I'll get all these coated up, laid out. And we'll start on the wet batter. For the wet batter, we're gonna need two eggs. One cup of flour. One tablespoon, tablespoon, tablespoon of our spice mix. We're gonna mix this up first. Get this incorporated a little bit. We're gonna add one cup of club soda. Stir this around gently. Let all this mix up. See all those little bubbles in there? And for the final batter, I'm gonna take this flour we started with. Add another two cups of flour in there. 
another tablespoon of our spice mix. Mix that up again. All right, we'll be back whenever that chicken sits for 10 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, we're ready to start battering the chicken. Just gonna mix this up again. Set that aside, get them beautiful clean hands in there. Dredge it, shake off the excess. You don't want too much excess. Put it in there. We wanna coat this heavy with flour. Press it in that flour, get everything coated. There we go. Once again, make sure you shake off the excess. And cover it up. See how I'm doing that? Pack that in there, pack it in, pack it in. All right, I'll finish these up, and then we'll be ready to fry. We wanna start off with an all at 350, and we'll drop those in. You should be dropping those away from you so you don't splash, but be careful frying. Cooking time should be about 10 to 12 minutes. Every three minutes, we wanna grab this and flip them over, see how they're doing on the back side. For nine minutes in, we're gonna pull this out and drain it, let it cool off. And it'll finish cooking. Oh, look at them crunchy bits on there. We're going with a simple topping on this. This is all you need. Little mayo on the buns. up some pickles on the bottom. Now you could add whatever you want, the little rumelade sauce everybody makes in Louisiana, spicy mustard. I bet this would be good just with a spicy honey mustard. There you go. White bread, buttered. Oh yeah, look at that sandwich. Wanna hear some crunch on that? You think it's got some crunch action? Let's see what we got here. How about this? There's nothing wrong with that. Excuse me while I'm eating, because this is awesome. Well, there you have it. Just use mayo and good pickles. That's all you need on a chicken sandwich. But you have to fry it up with that spicy blend. So use my seasoning mix, make a sandwich. Leave a reply in the comments. You don't forget to subscribe too. We'll see y'all next time, and y'all cook that. And if you stuck around this long, I'm gonna make some honey mustard sauce. We'll start off with about a tablespoon of mayo, about half a teaspoon, teaspoon of honey, and some Creole mustard, about a tablespoon and just a little touch of some rice wine vinegar for some acidity. Just to kick that up a little notch, we'll take our little seasoning blend that we made, add a little touch of that in there. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. 
Look at that chicken, chicken nugget, a real chicken nugget. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, crispy, juicy. There it is. Extra footage. Don't waste your chicken breast. This is. Mm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and the notification bell to get notified when I make the next video. Y'all have a good night and cook that.